I wasn't expecting that to be that heavy, but I think I could, I think I could, I think I could muscle it up. I think I could do it. Let's try it again. This, that wasn't my weight. All right, the hardest part is over. Getting up and not pressing snooze when you hear your alarm. It's half the battle. Okay, now I've arrived at my destination. I'm in the gym and it's time to start the workout. I just had to get that off my chest. I don't know. It's 2019, everyone is making resolutions. I figured I'd just clear it up and get out of the way. Just get it off my chest, get out of my head, and I can move forward with my life. Today is my first day back in the gym. Yeah. But before I get to the gym, some thoughts lock. Some things I want to share with you. Oh, shucks. Anyway, I want to share with you what I've learned. It's 2019, and people have made a lot of resolutions and changes to their lives that might have affected you. I'll just share with you my experience. Before we hit the gym, I'll try to make this short and sweet, 60 seconds the most. Let's go. I mean, I don't want to call it selfish, but when a person decides they're going to move on from a friendship, I feel like they should give you the common courtesy of telling you, not just distancing themselves and then expecting you to catch on, because you might just be giving them their space as a true friend, and they basically ain't your friend no more. So, um, this is, so, this is so difficult to do while driving. I probably should just put this down, it's like setting a bad example. I could be right back. Yeah, what I'm trying to say is this. Sometimes your friends, Jesus, these potholes. A couple of my friends just decided that they didn't want to be friends with me anymore, which is fine. But, I mean, the only problem I had with that is because I know life is ever changing and People aren't gonna be in your life forever. You're not gonna be in the same situation you are in now forever. And so, my thing is, if you have a friend, or if you call yourself a friend, then just give me the common courtesy of saying, my dog, I'm, you know, we growing apart, or just in the same position no more. I just don't wanna be a friend no more. I don't mind that, you know, but sometimes people see you moving. You might be moving in a different direction. They don't like it. Sometimes you seem to be moving at an accelerated pace in relation to them and that just don't work. As long as they could be above you, they want to be your friend. If you over them or if you seem to be over them or excelling more than them and that's a problem, they can't be your friend no more and they will just cut you off and then you won't know. Know your worth. Know your worth as a friend, know your worth as a person and also know your worth as a friend. You may be looking at me saying, well, Dog, you're like 30 years old with a wife and two children. You weren't with friends? I'm not worrying about friends, but I take friendship very seriously because I know my worth as a person and I know my worth as a friend. Anyone who is my friend knows that if you're around me, you can have a good time, you can be entertained, you can learn some stuff, and if I can help you, I will. I go to the end of the earth to help my real friends. If you be really honest with yourself and you find out that it really wasn't you, who was the problem and it was the next person, just let it go because you know your worth as a person and as a friend. For instance, my two biggest, they love to call me weird. And I'm like, first of all, I'm not weird. I'm a Bahamian just like you. Second of all, how long you know me for now? You should be used to this. And third, if everybody was the same, this would be one boring ass word. Back to the point I was making. You have to know your worth as a person and as a friend because you're gonna lose friends Anyhow, the point I'm trying to make here, sorry, that's, it's hella difficult trying to talk and drive at the same time and make sense, so I hope all that made sense. But the point I'm trying to make here is you're going to lose friends, but you have to know your worth and realize that it's not all the time it's your fault. Sometimes it might be your fault, but you have to be truthful with yourself. When it's not your fault, you move on, be cordial with the person when you see them, but 
it is what it is. That's life. All right, this is the gym. This, I have to stop chewing on my words. This is, that's 2019. That's where I can stop. Stop doing chewing up. Sometimes my mind goes faster than my mouth. I gotta slow down. This is the gym where it all began. Like when I first started running track and playing basketball and all that, I didn't have a real gym to go to. My old mom was like, we gotta build a gym because you gotta get to the NBA. So I was like, all right, let's do it. So it's a small setup. It changed around a little bit from when I used to be in high school. But every time I start a track season, the first place I come when I work out is this gym. This is my disclaimer. I absolutely hate the gym. Why? Not to brag, but I was blessed with an athletic frame. And so I really only had to do sit-ups, push-ups, and one or two other exercises to look like I went to the gym, but I really didn't. But that doesn't give me functional strength. It just makes me look good, like fashion muscles. Like, but I don't want fashion muscles. Like a bodybuilder, like they have strength compared to that. It takes a while to get back into the zone because it's a lot of hard work and just a feel good workout just to, when you come out of the gym you look like you did something so it inspires you to come back tomorrow and maybe the day after that or the day after the day after that before we start any workout you have to warm up like you don't want to jump into these weights cold and then you pull a muscle on you and up getting injured you tweak yourself and you're like you know you put in all this work or nothing because you have an injury that anyway you get what i'm saying me personally i like that one i like to dance you know what i mean you just I'm down though. We no soup man, no we can spot man. I won't, I gotta go. That's it. All you really wanna do is get your muscles warm and ready for the workout. Dabish. So today, I ain't no dummy. I'm focusing on upper body. You know why? Because upper body is the easiest thing to work and it shows results the quickest. Lower body is just like Labor some, is that a word? Labor some. And then like you don't really see the results as quickly as we do. I wasn't playing just now. Just now. What you have to realize is, you have to work up to a particular weight. You gotta just come in the gym and just start lifting heavy weights. You know your limits, so stick to right under your limits, start there and then work your way up. Don't just jump into the weight. Just now I can get there for real. Silly me, that's how long. I haven't been to the gym. I haven't been to the gym since April of last year. That's like, nine months ago so i need to start slow but a funny story though there was one time i was in the weight room and i was in, was in college right in junior college there was this girl in there i might have been trying to impress her but i don't think it was okay, maybe it was whatever happened was i went into the weights too quickly and i was doing some bench press and it didn't go so well so as I was bench pressing, right, the weight started to get really, really heavy. So I was like, wait, I need to put this weight up. But, I, you know, my pride wouldn't let me. I was shape. My pride wouldn't let me put the weight down. So the weight got stuck on my chest, like right here. And I was like, is this how I'm gonna die? In the gym? In school? In Florida? So, she walked out of the room. Like she walked out so casually, I was like, you need help me, or this could cause milk. So, what ended up happening was, I can't talk loose at the same time. What ended up happening was, right after she left, my athletic director came in and he saved me. Thank you, Jesus. And I don't know if she walked out of there casually, like not checking, and then she ran to the door to tell him I needed help. Whatever it was, thank you. Because I was about to die that day. So, you gotta take your time and please don't show off for nobody because you will end up with the short end of the stick and a broken arm. So 
I guess the moral of today's vlog is no, 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 know your worth and know your limits. It's important to be self-aware because when you're not, you end up paying a huge price because you either get some feelings hurt or you fail or you waste time, you waste money. Time is the biggest thing though. You can get money back. You can learn from a failure. But when you lose time, that's it. It's gone. That concludes the end of this feel good workout. Not feeling too good right now. But I'm glad I came. Of course, no feel good workout would be complete without taking some of your old man post workout shake. Got it. Got it. Got it. But just so I don't feel too bad. Got it. I can't see myself there. Yeah, man. That's what I'm there for. I'm the chef. <laughs> Thanks. Ain't nothing in here. Sneaky, sneaky. Little does he know. Secret stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Play it up, play it up. Yeah. Yeah, staples. Well, you don't use all the staples, but you can use them, but.